Hi guys, my name is Tito. I have sickle cell anemia and if you haven't watched the other two videos, please go back and do that. Um, but today I am here to talk to you about common myths and misconceptions of sickle cell. Firstly, I want to start with, probably for me as one of the biggest ones, is that people with sickle cell can have really, can have and do have very fulfilling lives. I know that a lot of people, especially like in my culture, when they hear sickle cell, they're suddenly like, oh no, like, oh, like they're basically treating you as if you're dead. And I'm really right in front of you here. Like, I'm actually alive. I'm, I'm healthy, I'm an adult. Like, guys, please, like, when you have sickle cell, not all is lost and, having that kind of reaction where it's like, oh no, like, how did this happen? What's gonna happen X, Y, and Z? It's not encouraging for the person that has it. So please, if you know someone with sickle cell or you have it yourself, guys, have hope. Like, life isn't doom and gloom. There's so much beauty in life and I don't want that one thing to cloud your whole outlook on life. Like, in life, there are so many different things that are going on with every single person, whether they have sickle cell or not. Um, so just understand that this is, for me, like, at least the way that I view it is that, Having sickle cell is just my personal battle. Um, it's just one thing that I have to deal with. So my outlook on life is very is one of it being very positive. Life is beautiful and I'm not letting sickle cell affect that at all. So another myth or misconception about sickle cell is that people with sickle cell are immune to malaria. That is not true. I am telling you that for a fact, it is not true. I remember one of my science teachers back in secondary school, when we were talking about sickle cell, I was like, oh, you must be immune. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I think I am. Then I went back to go do my research and it's not true. Like, I remember I even had a cousin with sickle cell who had malaria and it, it wasn't, it didn't, it didn't look pretty at all. Um, so please, when you go into countries that are known for malaria, please make sure you have your anti-malarials and all your insect sprays and whatnot because we don't want to get it. But the, this idea stems from the fact that people who have the trait, they have a greater level of resistance to malaria. Um, and this is all, like I guess maybe, I don't know, I don't want to go too much into the weeds, but the reason why sickle cell is so prominent in areas, for example, I'm Nigerian, why it's so prominent in like West Africa, or Africa in general, um, and places where malaria is a, a known issue is because people who have the traits are that bit more resistant to it. So naturally, just due to like natural selection, more people with the trait are alive, more people are surviving. And then when they have children, there's a greater number of people with sickle cell. So it just follows through like that. It follows through like that. So yeah. This is all just to say that we're not immune. People who have AS are more resistant, not completely immune, but more resistant. Another common misconception of sickle cell is that there's a cure. So there's a cure, but it's not a universal cure. So um, what I'm talking about is like a bone marrow or stem cell transplant. And that's something that is available, but it's kind of like only in extreme cases. It's not as readily available as other like medications and stuff like that. And it's very risky. Um, it's something where, at least in this country, they only really offer it to children. Um, but yeah, in terms of there being a cure for sickle cell, I don't really count it because of how scarce it is. Um, another myth or misconception that I just think is so hilarious is that people think that they can catch sickle cell. Sickle cell is genetic. That's the only way that you can get it, literally from your parents. There's no other way. I can't, I can't throw it at you. You can't catch it. So guys, please. Don't worry, like if you know someone with sickle cell, don't ostracize them. They are fine, like be friendly. Um, but yeah, sickle cell cannot be caught. It can only be inherited. You have it from birth. If you didn't have it when you were born, then you do not have it now. Don't worry. Another myth or misconception about sickle cell is that you have to be black to get it. It is more popular in countries, that, like I said earlier, like where malaria is more prominent, however, any race can have sickle cell. As long as you inherit one copy of the gene from each parent, isn't it doesn't, it doesn't discriminate at all. I've seen so many people from so many different races who have sickle cell who don't look like me. Um, so yeah, just because you're not black doesn't mean that you shouldn't be worried, doesn't mean that you shouldn't get yourself tested to find out your genotype. So please, please, please go get yourself tested. Let us know if you've learned anything new from this video or if there's any myths or misconceptions that you've heard that you'd like to question, feel free to put them in the comments and we will definitely answer them. But yeah, thank you very much for watching.